this is a snan and you're watching for any code so um how are you all today um i guess you're fine now uh, till now we have done something um creating the designs and we have coded few things that is our home page and our categories page right now in today's video we're going to we're going to f uh, code our i guess our uh, news detail page okay and uh as you can see on the screen uh, we are going to implement parallax scrolling okay and uh if you want to know how parallax scrolling work i have made a video on that you can check that video link in the description okay and i have just generated the component okay i'm not going to show you over here or i'm not going to do that again over here because i have already done that video you can check the link in the description okay and the another thing is uh, as you can see over here i have created one component which is having an attribute called parallax header okay i have just got the parallax header over here and i'm going to have two division which is going to separate our uh, topper part and the uh, which will be our image and the news detail uh, which which is kind which is going to hold our informations okay and today we are going to work smartly okay uh, i'll show you an easy trick to design your app into the chrome okay which will make your designing the um, designing process faster okay so um Okay, so as you can see on the screen, I have included the parallax header and I have generated the component into the directive directories right over here, parallax header. And this is the parallax header. Now we are going to separate our parallax header uh, uh, by just creating two divs. The first will, div will be containing our image and the second div will be containing our uh, news details paragraph, okay? So um, first of all, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and create a div which is going to be our, um, I guess, um, header image, okay? And this is going to be uh, having an image, okay? And um, the another division which we are going to have is our main content, okay? So we'll just go ahead and create div class equals to main content, content, okay cool now uh, we have two division um, now we'll just go ahead and insert the image first okay uh, to create an image um, obviously we're going to use the IMG's tag okay and which is going to have a source from kind of internet so IMG um, I'm sorry why the intelligence is not working sometimes my intelligence is not intelligent so um img and source is going to from internet so we'll just go ahead and replace the um i guess replace the source so what i'll do is um i'll just go ahead and search for the ionic images and i'll just i'm just going to paste the same images I'm going to catch the URL of that image and I'm going to use that into our, our image. Okay, so uh, what I'll do is I'll just take this image, copy the path of this image, um, copy image address and I'm going to go ahead and paste that right over here. So we got the image, okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to have the title inside of our main content so we're going to have a division which is going to have a class in the same process which we are doing from the previous tutorials and it is going to be something like news title okay and the another thing is inside the title we are going to have an h2 tag which is going to be say that this is news title cool this is going to be news title cool and now we're going to have um, our division which is going to have a news detail so instead of creating a division I'm just going to go ahead and write a paragraph tag directly so just a paragraph tag and it's going to have some text and I have saved the text into the notes okay um, just go ahead i don't know what the text is but I, I get the text from somewhere and just i'm just gonna go ahead and paste it several times so that we are going to have a scrollable division and 
Cool. So um, paste it this for several times and what we'll do is we're not going to design over or we're not going to write a C S C S S directly into the SCSS file. First we'll open the Google Chrome. Inside the Chrome we are going to write our SCSS. So this is the best way to write or design something because once you design that and you're just going to go ahead and paste it into your uh, class or in, in, into your CSS file. If you are designing a web page you can use the same thing as we are going to do over here okay so um, what we'll do is we will just inspect it over here and we'll give a styles to them directly now this will make our development process faster okay so I'll just go ahead and okay and don't forget to add a new page I, I just forgot to tell you I have I generated the new page and I have added that into the components array and I got the new page directly okay so don't forget to add a new page so uh, I have a new page over here and a news detail which is going to have an image and title ready okay now what we'll do is we're going to design our page um, with uh, just inspecting this image and we got the image and we are going to give um, style store image directly over here so what we'll do is um, I'm going to give the height of um, how about um, 300 or 250 pixels <laughs> I just wrote zero I, I just wrote O instead of zero so we're gonna have 250 pixels height and obviously we're going to make it object fit so it is going to be object fit um, cover okay and um, now what we'll do what we'll do over here is we'll just go ahead and paste it directly into our um, scss file just targeting our image so um we'll just go ahead and open the open the open the i guess news detail.scss file and just make it somewhat like um i guess how about okay I lost the news detail um, page name so I'll just go ahead and create um, news detail and inside this we are going to have um, IMG and image is going to have something like this okay so uh, instead of creating or writing your SCSS first into the uh, SCSS file and then going and checking into the uh, Google Chrome or the browser uh, what you can do is just open or inspect the element and just directly design over there so you're going to get that particular look and it's working fine okay so um, okay 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 so um, as you can see our parallax scrolling is also working fine and um, we are going to inspect this is news title and just go ahead and inspect that and make sure you're going to give your own um, styles okay so um, the styles will be um, first of all we are going to give a padding of um, padding is of 10 pixels I guess 10 pixels is enough or we can just go ahead and give it more font size to somewhat like 2.3 em cool and we are going to increase the font weight right away so just go ahead and increase the or decrease the font weight i won't say increase i would say decrease the font weight to 300 i guess 300 will be better okay and if you want you can just go ahead and increase the font size after decreasing the font weight okay so just go ahead and uh, how about 2.5 mm, okay looks good so what we'll do is we'll just copy this again and directly target your h2 into your SCSS file this will make your development so faster I just like this trick I just found this this trick today <laughs> okay and um, I'm just sharing this trick with you just don't tell anyone okay okay so uh, we got this working okay and um, 
I guess we have to uh, override the font size because H2 font size is uh, different. So we'll just go ahead and override that over here. Cool. And um, we'll just go ahead and inspect our paragraph. Okay. So just inspect it and um, a par paragraph looks good, but you know, you have to, you have to give some padding to, to look more better, I guess. So we'll just go ahead and give the padding of, um, I guess, how about um, eight pixels? And um, what if we justify our text? Uh, so text align justify. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks good. Cool. So um, almost our um, design is ready, but as I told you, we are going to have one fab button, okay? So um, just go ahead, grab it. Let me just, uh, okay. How about if we, if we just um, uh, paragraph tag. So we are going to have a P right over here. So cool, just paste it. Okay, and we have that, cool. So um, almost our page is ready and I guess one thing is missing is uh, now if you scroll your page, you're not going to have a white background as you can see the white background, but it's not a white color background. It is the ion scroll background. So if I just scroll it, you're going to see that text is not having a background and it's not looking good. Okay, now as I mentioned in my previous video of parallax scrolling is your scrolling is going to be smooth. You're not able to see the scrolling smooth over here because of my screen recording problem, okay? And uh, we'll just go ahead and um, give the background to our, to our, uh, I guess, a main content. Okay, so, so just go ahead and give the styles over here. Um, just give it background color to somewhat white white is good okay so we get our white beautiful color okay and the okay uh, now our html is refreshed now we'll see that our styles is working or not so come on okay uh, i'll just go ahead and go to the okay that's what i told you uh, this is the problem. Our style is not getting affected. We wrote the styles over there, but still is, it is not getting affected is because um, We have a problem with our this particular thing um, I guess this is the this is the matter news detail I guess it will work now but what I did is um, I just added the page before the news detail. I just forgot that because when you have an SCSS file, by default, you're going to get page news details. Okay. So um, that was missing page. Okay. The page keyword was missing. So it was not working. But as you can see on the screen, it's working now. And um, I guess uh, everything is done. But uh, when we were designing this page, I just told you to, uh, I just told we, we are going to have a fab button, right? Um, so to have a fab button, um, I have just made that fab button. Uh, what you can do is you can just go onto the Ionic, um, Ionic website, Ionic documentation. You can just go ahead, copy and paste that. Now, um, I have just done that and I have saved my Ion fab button. Okay. And, uh, I just paste that HTML code right in my visual studio. Okay. And, uh, I'll just say how to change the color and, um, how all those work so uh, if you if you'll see in the code uh, first we have a button okay and which is going to have a color of purp now this color is coming from our variable.css file okay i have just mentioned the purp color name inside the um inside the variable.scss file and um, you can just go ahead and do that same if you'll just go right over here into the variable.scss file and you can see P-U-R-P and which is having the color which we are using inside of our header and pinky is going to have our uh, Categories title color. Okay, so um, I'll just show you where I'm using pinky color is um, inside the um, 
Now I'll just I'll just show you the uh, how how our ionic fab is going to work. Now ion fab it is going to be on the right side of uh, bottom right side. So we'll just go ahead and right bottom. Okay. Now we'll create a button which is going to have an ion fab and which is going to have a color of PURP. It is basically the color which we have given and it is going to have an icon which shows the arrow drop left. Okay. And um, uh, inside the ion fab we are going to create a list which will be allow us to share our news on instagram facebook twitter anywhere okay so we are going to inside the ion fab list and we can just give that side uh, wherever you want you can just go ahead and give to right left wherever you want okay top bottom and um, inside the list we are going to have a buttons which is going to have a logos of icon which is going to have a logo facebook logo twitter logo google plus whatever you want okay so we'll just go ahead and take a look inside our app then you're going to have our uh, fab button ready into the bottom okay now right over here when you click on that you're going to get a beautiful buttons which will allow you to share the data or i mean the news or the data as well into the facebook uh, vimo or twitter or google plus okay so um I think our this page looks good and we have uh, we have done a parallax scrolling tool and if you want if you can just go ahead and take a look on my previous video of how to create a parallax scrolling and that's all for this video I'll see you in my next one if you are new over here please subscribe because we are going to create more apps more designings okay and um, if you like this design or if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button okay and I see you in my next one bye bye take care.